Budweiser, the beer company, is still dealing with the strong response to its campaign months after Bud Light controversy. According to a report from the New York Times written by Amanda Halpach, Bud Light has faced a boycott from some conservative commentators and celebrities as its sales have plummeted and two of its marketing executives have gone on leave. It was also criticized by some in the LGBTQ community for its tepid response to the backlash. The report added that the criticism of Bud Light amid other complaints about brand partnerships with transgender people comes as Republican state lawmakers are proposing legislation that seeks to regulate the lives of young transgender people, restrict drug shows in a way that could include performances by transgender people, and require schools to out transgender students to their parents. Bud Light has become an unexpected symbol in these efforts. The Bud Light beer controversy began on April 1 when Miss Mulvani posted a video on her Instagram account where she has 1.8 million followers to promote a Bud Light contest. Miss Mulvani, 26, is popular on TikTok where she has more than 10.8 million followers and has been documenting her transition online. She celebrated a full year of her Days of Girlhood series in March with a live show at Rockefeller Center called Dylan Mulvani's Day 365 Live. Her Bud Light promotional post was less than a minute long and was mostly about a $15,000 giveaway that the company sponsored during March Madness. She mentions that the company sent her a tall boy con with her face on it to celebrate the 365-day milestone. Calls for a boycott followed. Some of the most prominent voices backing it have attacked the transgender community in the past, including the musician Kid Rock, who posted a video of himself shooting a stack of Bud Light cases in April. After Bud Light sales slump, Anheuser Bosch, the beer's brewer, announced in late April that the two of its executives were taking a leave of absence. The company also said in early May that it would focus its marketing campaigns on sports and music. I am Lovely Montoya of Manila STV.